So morning everyone. Today is the day that I'm going to attempt to put my Andalia filters into the filter wheel I have. Let's see if I can get my fingers in the glove. <laughs> and the gloves are courtesy of Glenn from Mastro Bloke. He has some spare ones left over from when he did his filters and he kindly sent them over to me. So here we go. I've got my screwdriver, got all the filters and I'm now gonna give it a go. Okay, so this is inside the filter wheel. There are seven filter positions and these are for the unmounted 36 mil filters. These are all the clips and the screws to hold the filters in place. They look like they're gonna be quite fiddly. So this is going to be fun. Let's get my blower on it. So these are nicely packed. Very nice little boxes. Inside the box is this really nice plastic glass case. There, doesn't this look nice? And they're magnetic. It's just a shame that they're never going to be used again. Once these filters go into this holder, hopefully that's where they'll stay. These are the Andalia three nanometer filters. These are very well packaged, I have to say. I must put my gloves back on. I don't want to accidentally touch the filter with my fingers because it will leave a horrible greasy mark. It's very difficult to remove. Almost afraid to touch them, even with the gloves on. They don't want to come out of the packet. So, which way around does it go? After a quick chat with Glenn, I've had it confirmed that it's the reflective side towards the telescope and the non-reflective side towards the camera sensor. So the camera will be attached to here. So downwards is the non-reflective. So the reflective side has to be up. The only problem is trying to work out which one is the reflective side. So after watching Joe's from Joe's Astro Photo video and Glenn's video from Astro Bloke. I am now fully ready to start again. <laughs> I did actually check on the Antlia website and I now know exactly which way round these should go. So the ghosting side of the filter, the one with the double reflection, is the anti-reflective side. And that side has to face down towards the sensor. So that one is wrong, and that one is wrong. You can clearly see a ghosting on both of those. So I'm gonna just remove these. Careful. So it's supposed to be a clear sky tonight, and I'm hoping that if I can get this done okay, and I can get round to getting my camera all connected as well. Then I'd like to get first light with not only the filters, but with my new 2600mm Pro camera. That's been sitting in the box ever since I've had it, and I've had it a few weeks now. This is the first opportunity I've had to actually put the filters in the wheel and hopefully try out the camera with the filters tonight. If it stays clear, that is. Uh, fingers crossed.
Okay, they're all in. So here we have all seven filters sitting nicely in the filter wheel. And starting at number one, one is luminance, two is red, three is green, four is blue, five is sulfur, six is hydrogen alpha, and seven is oxygen. So I've got here the 2600mm Pro camera. And here's the camera. So they've provided me with a Allen key to take the back of the camera off so I can attach it to the filter wheel. Hey mate. Hello. Hey. Yeah, mate. yeah, can you see? Oh, look at you. I got the filters in, but I'm struggling, Glenn. I can't fit the camera to the filter wheel. What you've got to do, right, obviously you've got to take that, whatever that thing is you've got on there, that, that spacer, take that yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I just put it on there to keep the dust down. Okay. Yes, yeah, so take the whole thing off, yeah. You've got two choices, Simon. If right. you flip that back over again. Yeah. Take that other cover off for me. So you've either got to take the carousel out, all right? Oh God, I don't like the sound of that. All right, or if you're not comfortable with that, <coughs> if you remove one of the filters. Yeah. Yeah. You can rotate the carousel and you can get to all four bolts. Right, okay, so in in the um, um, filter wheel pack, there's this little pack of screws. That's them, yeah. You only use four. Yeah, so I think you can bolt the camera directly to the filter wheel. Right. Look at that wheel. Well, if you put your filter wheel on top of that, you'll see they line up with them holes. Right, okay. What would be so terribly wrong if I just used this this spacer and had that between the camera and the filter wheel. Okay, the issue, the issue you can have with that is obviously the further away from the filters that the lens is. Right. You end up with vignetting. Oh, I'm with you. So you want the, the sensor as close to the filters as practically possible. You know that carousel? That's yeah. not difficult to remove, but if you would rather take a filter out, take the yeah. filter out. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the luminance filter out. That's yeah. probably the cheapest filter if I mess one up. Well, you won't mess one up, you'll be all right. Job and half, isn't it? You're not wrong, I've been doing this all day. Um, did you remember the video? I was like going, it's been, <laughs> yeah. I literally, and I went, I'll never buy these again. Yeah, <laughs> yes, mate. I was thinking, I'll spend the extra money and get two inch screwing. Yeah, well, now I know, I watched the Logan's video as well, and that's what he did. He said he's not very good with fiddly little things, that's why he he bought the two inch screwing ones, and you can't get them wrong either. Have you got that filter out? Let's have a look at that hole. Oh, you should be able to rotate that. I have, yeah. Yourself. Yeah, look. Four, four um, screw hole. So you can see the holes there? That's it, yeah. Yeah. So there's there's one at the top where you can get to. Yeah. So there's one there, one there, and the other one would be there, and, and on the other and side. Take it around, it'll get to the other yeah. one. Yeah. That's it. And you can get to the other one. So you'll yeah. be able to bolt that straight to the camera. If you haven't got those holes covered, it might yeah. be worth just a teeny bit of tape over the holes that are exposed, so you don't get any light. Yeah. But I wouldn't have thought you'd get much through them anyway. No, I can cover them. Yeah. Good luck with them. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. So that's all going back together. And now I've just got to clear my mess up. What a mess, just to put some filters in. So the camera has now powered up for the very first time. I'm glad to see it's actually working. I hadn't tested it before now. This is the very first test. 
So now I'm gonna connect the ASIR and make sure that the filter wheel is connected. So this must be a bit of a fluke really. The um, scope slewed straight to Vega, found it straight away, centered the target first time. Click the image with my better enough mask on. That is perfectly in focus. What are the odds? I've changed the camera, I've changed all the spacers, I've added the filter wheel. The very first image taken is this image and it's perfectly in focus. So if things keep going this well, um, ah yeah, <laughs> my luck could be in. Or is it a fluke? We will see. Okay, so it's been quite a successful night. I'm now returning the scope back to the home position. And I've done some testing. And glad to say the filter wheel works nicely. I've checked all the filters and I appear to have them all in the right way around, so that's good. And the mono camera's working good and I've got a few nice little test subs here. So hopefully uh, next time I can come out and do a proper imaging session rather than just doing testing. And we'll get a proper first light image. So for now, for tonight, that's it. I'm gonna pack everything away, pull the roof over and we'll be ready for the next clear sky. Okay, so this is the first 10 minute sub of HA, about to pop up. Wow. That's looking nice. Not bad. Yeah, I'm pleased with that.